Okay. Uh, welcome everyone and thank you for joining us for today's webinar. My name is Sunny Makija and I'm a senior inside sales specialist with Crave Infotech having seven plus year of, years of experience. Uh, before we get started, I'm going through uh, going to go through some housekeeping to ensure you can interact with myself and the speaker. Firstly, if you wish to ask any uh, question to our presenter, we have Q&A box and chat feature enabled. You can type in and we will be uh, answering your uh, question at the end of our session. Now, I would like to welcome Shrikan Nistani and Shiva Prasad. We are so glad that you could be here today to share your insight on delivering next generation intelligent asset management uh, for SAP customer. Uh, Shrikant Nistane. Shrikant is a digital transformation enthusiast, experience in SAP Digital Core, enterprise uh, asset management, enterprise mobility, and cloud platform. He has 27 plus years of industry experience helping organization in wide range of experience with technology and technological changes for multiple line of businesses. Uh, now Shiva. Shiva Prasad is a EAM and IAM expert at Crave Infotech. He has 15 plus years of combined experience serving thermal, gas, nuclear, wind turbine, power plant engineering and refinery engineering and top renewable pharmaceutical companies and SAP implementation. Shiva has a strong understanding of integration between SAP's plant maintenance module with other SAP modules such as PP, QM, MM and FI. Now, without any further ado, I would like to hand over to Shrikant to start the presentation. Over to you, Shrikant. Uh, Shikant, you're on mute, I think. Yes, I was on yeah. mute. Thank you, Sunny. Thank you very much. I appreciate uh, the introduction. I'm glad to share uh, this with uh, Shiva. So uh, a quick uh, um, overview of today's session. Uh, we are going to have a little bit about Crave Infotech. Then we'll talk about the EAM and the whole IAM uh, holistically and uh, the journey from reactive to predictive. And then Shiva will talk about specific use case of uh, wind turbine and how IAM uh, has helped to do that modeling. And uh, finally, um, I will close with uh, our implementation methodology. So that's what we have plan for today. Uh, this is about Crave. We are, this is our journey from 2007 till today, 13 year old, uh, 14 year old company. And uh, uh, several milestones with during the journey, uh, we are SAP partner. I have some other slides where we can talk about that. Uh, we have uh, several partnerships with SAP and Zebra. This is our plan for uh, next four years, uh, relatively aggressive plan, um, growth size focus. So the focus areas are SAP business technology platform, EAM, EWM, and supply chain. And also RFID and location service technology. So that's what basically uh, our focus areas. This is the summary of Crave Infotech. Again, 15 plus year, 50 plus free package solutions available on uh, SAP App Store. It's basically helped you to decide effectively between building and buying, right? Uh, 50 plus large customers, 150 plus team size. And as you can see in our earlier roadmap, we are poised to double it in next 12 months. From the partnerships, SAP, Zebra, here technology for Geo enablement, Amazon Web Services, and Google certifications, uh, quality, security, uh, and diverse. Diverse. We are a diverse organization, woman-owned. So those certifications are there. From the awards perspective, we were Pinnacle Award finalist and also ACE Award winner uh, from the SAP perspective. Um, <clears throat> again, the focus. We call five pillars, uh, intelligent asset management, uh, and that's what the focus area today. So EAM, so we talk about uh, IAN, asset manager, predictive maintenance. Uh, we also have our own applications, which uh, supplement to the SAP standard offerings. 
uh, into the breakdown calibration and uh, preventive facility, especially into the life sciences and regulated industry. And of course, the uh, other areas like flexible scheduling, flexible dispatch, and uh, um, and uh, supervisor console. Those are some of the uh, some of the value adds we have. Uh, intelligent warehouse management. Uh, that's the uh, automation of your warehouse processes. So Android in warehouse, web console, tech console, ITS mobile. Uh, YC enabled order picking, smart uh, order picking, uh, and um, all of that complete end-to-end -end, uh, automation and making your warehouse intelligent. Supply chains, so connected assets, truck latency, yard management, last mile tracking, barcode and RFID enablement. Finally, the business technology platform is a big focus for us. So that includes the uh, keeping the S4HANA clean, so side-by-side -side extensions, design thinking, process automation, powered by RPA, workflow, uh, conversational AI, work zone. These are all the SAP cloud technologies and we, we have deep, uh, um, um, the team is pretty deep into this and helping implementing customers. Um, then the integration suite, which is CAI, uh, sorry, CPI, Enterprise Mobility, HANA Database, Fure UI UX, and AI ML and Predictive Analytics. So that's kind of our broader offerings. Uh, this is another slide talks about our products and services. So products in Intelligent Warehouse, Intelligent Field Service, and SCM Intelligent Asset Management. And the services offering. Let's start the journey into uh, the EAM, moving from reactive to predictive maintenance. So uh, what are the challenges in asset uh, service and the maintenance? Right? So challenging role of manufacturer, operators. So the roles of the manufacturer, operator, service providers are changing every day. As we know, a lot of services is a big focus for manufacturing companies and uh, backward integration is a big focus for the services companies because everybody wants a piece of the pie and, peop and, the, and the roles are changing. Um, <clears throat> the policies are uh, the static plan and reactive maintenance policies established on the installation, not dynamic to the operating condition. I mean, this is the old, uh, we, we, we have done this over a period of time and it's time to change. Um, siloed business units, um, resource constraints, especially higher dependency on the, on the third party resources, and finally changing workers' dynamics, especially with working remotely. Uh, we have seen that there are many factors impacting the maintenance because a lot of maintenance you cannot do unless you are in front of the machines. And there are dependent and support organizations which are not there, so we need to act differently. This is my one of my favorite slides. Uh, of course, I took it. We took it from SAP's uh, um, some stacks and modified them. But this talks about how three different constituents of the maintenance team have different goals within the organization. So, maintenance engineer, he says, I spend most of the time on data collection and data entry. Most of my decisions are based on experience and gut feeling. I follow what my planner has asked me to do. Right? Of course, he doesn't have, um, it's all dependent upon. So the knowledge base is becoming very important in the, in the maintenance organization. As the uh, aged workforce is retiring, uh, it's becoming very important to retain that tribal knowledge and intelligence and through using, using, the, um, using the maintenance tools. Maintenance plan, I don't know if all my asset data are complete. My equipment performance risk and maintenance data are sitting in silos. I still follow the traditional practice of time-based maintenance planning. I use system to generate only MIS report. I spend a lot of time preparing them, so hardly get time to analyze. This guy is busy doing day-to-day -day work. And finally, plant head, I want to make my production scheduling decision based upon the equipment, health, and reliability. Plant head is all the way. He goes to the conferences, he attends that thing, he wants something. At the, 
the best available, uh, which can make the decision. So everybody is not aligned. Now, how do we get them to be aligned? And that's this journey. So we have uh, basically created our own methodology for taking people from reactive to predictive. So we all know the reactive is basically uh, paper-based process, starting somewhere, then uh, preventive is the um, performing maintenance at the regular inter interval. Most of the time we follow the manufacturer recommendation and then um, the condition based. Now this journey is not a one day overnight and not even a one year journey in many cases. It needs proper planning because you cannot do proper condition maintenance or even, and, and then the predictive, unless you have the right data, right historical data available. And that's all needs to be worked through. Let's see how we can do that. So these are some of the uh, statistics about uh, new approaches and, uh, and intelligent asset management. So 76% of the organization consider it is important to predict future failures by leveraging data model, 76%. 21% of the organization employ predictive and preventive maintenance effectively. So this 21% is 21% 20 of the people who implemented, okay, not the whole subset because that subset is very small, the people who are using predictive. 80% of organizations consider it important to have asset management processes and related metrics standardized across facilities and regulatory tracking. This is another challenge. Uh, every plant has their own, every location has their own practices. And that creates difficulty in identifying and, and analyzing the same type of equipment across the plant. And only 13% of organizations are able to drive asset performance based on analysis of real-time sensors data along with historical maintenance. So even if you go for it, uh, there needs to be a proper discipline to make it work and effective. So how do we do that? So what we did is we divided this into four segments, system of record. So first thing you need for any organization you need is system of record. Of course, most of the organization have that, right? If you have SAP, you have it. If you don't, you have another ERP or some sort of maintenance system, CMM system, which will allow you to capture the, uh, 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 create a system of records. That's equipment master, bill of material, uh, order processing, calibration, breakdown. So these are all master data and transaction data is basically you have digitized and converted into and kept into an ERP system. Now what's next? Uh, I'm able to generate work order. I'm able to print them. Somebody goes out in the field, they fill in the information, comes back, it gets entered correctly, incorrectly, today, tomorrow, whenever they get time. How do I make it better? How do I capture? these issues at the source. And that's where the next step comes. That's a data acquisition. Uh, how do I acquire data effectively um, at the source? And that's where the IoT comes into picture. We have so many IoT. Um, IoT is a, another buzzword. And uh, a lot of organizations are going on to the IoT. But it has challenges if you have processing plants, it's very difficult to change the devices and make them smart overnight. It's a long journey. It's a long process. So there are many options available. And I'm not going to get into those options. The second one is uh, workforce management. So that's the mobility. Uh, so collect the information at the source at the time of completion of the work effectively and provide them whatever is absolutely necessary. Another is the collaborate between, collaborate, collaborate for better information. And that's what we are gonna talk about today. That is the asset intelligence network. Once, so we have system of record. Now we have, data, we have acquired the data effectively, right at the source, everything is validated. Then we need tools to analyze them. Uh, and there are many analysis uh, and risk um, assessment methodologies available. So reliability centered maintenance, FMEA, RBI, RCA, these are the different tools available. A lot of you use tools based upon your specific need, your organization, your industry, and where you fit into onto the curve. So you do the assess, risk assessment uh, based upon the strategy, and then you also utilize the predictive analytics. So failure-made analysis, fingerprint management, indicator forecasting, rule-based alerts, 
and you apply different algorithms based on your specific need. That gives you specific recommendation and corrective actions. Those corrective actions ultimately needs to come back to the mobile so that you can implement them. So it's kind of a loop helps you to get through uh, that journey from reactive to predictive. This is another style talked about what is IAM, what is intelligent asset map? That's basically EAM plus APM. And uh, I'm not gonna go through this every uh, flow, but it's basically different representation from the SAP perspective is uh, the inner uh, rectangle and the six boxes talks about the standard SAP processes and outside boxes, they talk about the I, SAP APM processes, that is asset performance management processes. What is it into the SAP IAM portfolio? So SAP IAM portfolio is divided into multiple sections. It has mobility, that is SAP asset manager. It has uh, asset central foundation, that's your um, object database. Then you have asset, uh, um, and then you have um, asset strategy and performance management. Then you have PAI, that is the predictive analytics and uh, uh, which is supported by uh, other tools like in environmental health and safety uh, and asset network and collaboration, that's the final. So that's the total, uh, <clears throat> total combination of different modules within the IAM. Now the APM is the SAP predictive asset insight uh, that's what we are going to discuss and i'll get shiva very shortly to talk about how um, you can do the the aspm part uh, in the for a turbine um, quick slide about asset manager asset manager is sap's uh, cloud based mobile solution it is the next generation replacement for work manager and uh, uh, it has now um, pretty good functionality uh, in the newer version. They have also added um, the supervisor and also some transactions related to inventory management. In addition to the crew, uh, meter management, customer service and field operations work. Okay, with that, I'll hand it over to um, Shiva and take this forward, Shiva. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thanks. Thanks, Srikant. Thanks for giving this opportunity to present on uh, SAP IAM for wind turbines. In this, uh, we have taken uh, the real-time uh, data, uh, which comes uh, from the uh, wind turbine uh, manufacturers and uh, uh, generators. Okay. Uh, we, have, we try to model all the wind turbines in SAP IAM. Initially, to do this, we started uh, from, we have connected the system from S4 HANA to a Asset Central Foundation. All the asset which are records, system of records in uh, SAP S4, where customer uses now to transfer the turbines and which are created as a equipment in SAP to the ACO. And we have done some user stories on AIN, which is really real-time user stories where we use in wind turbines, ASPM user stories, and PDMS user stories. And why wind turbine is wind turbine is baseline. We can apply this user story to cap two power plant. A main plant of thermal power plant and solar power plant. So this model we can utilize in different areas. It is sorry, I lost presentation. Uh, so please move to next screen. Hello. Yes, I am not able to move to next screen. Yeah, thank you. 
Yeah. Now, <clears throat> what we done first? We mapped all the wind turbine equipment. One wind turbine have different equipment. So we mapped whatever the uh, equipment you are seeing in the left hand side. We have mapped to the SAP S4 HANA is already having, and we transfer the data to IAM like high speed shaft, yaw system, main shaft blades. These are the systems we are going to take in nation for different scenarios in IAM, different IAM modules. Uh, so please move to the next slide. Yes, thank you. In this, uh, first of all, uh, when we say asset center foundation, the asset central foundation is majorly having some master debt which were transferred from the Sorry, everyone. I think we lost Shiva. He might be joining. Yes, he's here. Extremely, extremely sorry. Uh, there is a connection issue. Sorry for that. And we, in this master record, we have the data from, we utilize data from S4 HANA and some of data we create in SAP, uh, IA. Like class, subclasses, we derive from S4 HANA attributes, templates, models, attribute, some of them which are highlighted in blue are from the IAM side, okay? This is what we have. And we are going to establish the uh, master data. We have also in our Crave system, we created all types of master data, which is required for different industries. We are ready to uh, map, uh, we are very much ready implementing IAM, you can see uh, equipments, 194 equipments of different industry, like wind turbine uh, and uh, uh, crave and uh, power plants, utility, everywhere. We have installed all the equipments. We have created a lot of mo models. And when we come specifically to failure modes, failure modes are the main uh, master data for IAM which I will take it in the next sessions. And uh, uh, the other are uh, templates, assessment templates. These are the main master data for the equipments and documents also we will attach. There are some announcements we can create in IAM. Next slide, please. please. And this is a very uh, bigger view of uh, what are the actual features we have in the uh, IAM space for uh, AIN. And uh, in this, we have, uh, for analysis, we have equipment overview, where you can see, for one equipment, you can see all the dashboard. Whatever the dashboard, we can get it here. Even process dashboards, like what are the person, uh, you can create a personal dashboards, uh, dashboard in IAM, okay? and processes, different processes we have uh, where request improvements, RCM, all these processes we can enable in IAM. And the lower part, again, we are seeing the master data where this master data will be, uh, means it's a like, uh, this is a collaboration where this is interfaced with uh, a manufacturer data. This is manufacturer's uh, view where uh, wherever they like PLC or a blade in a wind turbine, when we have a problem, we have to connect to a OEM. When we are connecting to an OEM, then whatever the data we have, we can share the data with the OEM so that they can analyze with our own uh, I think Shiva is having a little bit of challenge with connection. We'll bear with him. I think his knowledge is more important. Sorry, extremely sorry again. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, Shiva, continue. 
Yes, yes, sir. Uh, I'm not able to see the screen, so I just uh, and. Okay, so I'll I'll continue, Shiva. So yes, this is about the asset intelligence network. Uh, Let me help Shiva while his connectivity is. Uh, yeah, uh, I am back. I am my connectivity is back. Sorry. Uh, thanks, sir. Thanks for your help on this. Actually, this is the uh, OEM, and the, in OEM we have to. They will do the uh, means they will analyze and give a fit, good feedback. This is very good connectivity activity we have in the space of SAP. I am strongly believe it will not be applicable to any other application solely for meant for SAP. Sir, next slide, because SAP is having a bigger uh, means customer base. Yeah, we have the for OEM. We have when we create like I said. When we create one uh, any uh, failure mode analysis, when we do uh, with our uh, in-house team, then we can share those details with the manufacturer. The manufacturer can see what is the RPN of our value and what is the uh, values uh, at what rate we are failure is happening at what rate the uh, it is repetitive or what is the failure condition. These are the things which we can share with the manufacturer and he can able to do. This is what we have demonstrated in our system. It is very much readily available. You can adopt it very easily because we, when you are doing in other systems, you will not feel this because there is no collab collaboration with any other vendor when you are doing with any third party system. This is very good opportunity for any organization to enable this one. Can you go further? Yeah, now after uh, I'm taken through IAN of uh, SAP EA, uh, IAM, uh, Intelligent Asset Ma Management, now I'm taking you through SS Strategy Performance Management. This is very core area where engineering activity will be started here. Until now, we are very much working on the uh, operation activity of an plant, but we are not capturing the real-time engineering activity, which helps us to manage the, which helps us to uh, put our, uh, means, uh, which helps us to make the availability of the system 100%. That's why we are trying, this is very good tool to use. And to do this, we have difference in uh, assessment uh, we can do. Uh, what is the uh, overall arch architecture you can see here? Asset risk and criticality ass assessment we can do in SS, uh, as a pre preliminary. And we can divide that into how means uh, relevancy center maintenance, failure mode, and effect analysis and risk and critical assessment. If you are, are uh, root cause analysis also. also where this is comes where means when you analyze something there is a risk involved then what you have to do when there is a risk involved you have to identify how to go ahead with that risk means you need to have a model to work on that that is rcm fmea and root cause analysis are some of the models where we, sap is defined and we are using all the manufacturing companies are, presently using, but it's not in a system. Most of them are not using in a proper system. This is a, where we can start up. And with that, we can have the, uh, we are in, uh, what SAP is giving is they're inter, they uh, integrating our S4 HANA strategies, uh, work orders, uh, uh, strategies, work orders, and task lists. These are the main area where your operation team will work. So once these are, uh, if there is an issue in this, you can uh, modify this and you can actually SAP has not given the opportunity to transfer this to, uh, uh, again to S4 HANA, but in Crave, we are doing that. We have programs to uh, transfer this to SAP and there is no uh, manual work on that. Yeah, sir, can you take to the next? Yeah. Next, as I said, you in the next, there is a, the master data for uh, uh, for ASPM to 
model is failure modes. Failure modes will have the failure mode, cause and effect. We need to identify, you will be having already all the means in wind turbine, these are the failure modes, which is already available in your organization. So we can able to map all this, maybe you are keeping in any third party system, most of them are keeping in your Excel. Instead of that, you can move those, all this, uh, uh, uh different uh, uh, data into sap that is failure mode data so once you move this into FS, sap you are enabling your system to uh, do different uh, analysis from here uh, sir can you move further yeah uh, there is a risk what this is one of the real time uh, example in wind turbines, when there is a crack, uh, when they observe a crack in the, uh, on the blade, then they have to analyze the risk and criticality of that crack. And for that, we have the, we have already done the failure mode. We have failure mode for blade. So we have already have the failure mode. So we have different questionaries attached to that. That is also one of the master data. So according to the questionaries and answers, you will get to know how, what is your, uh, where is your matrices, where is your uh, matrix uh, of your uh, particular fault lies, whether it is critical to address now, or you can address at the later. That's where it is not required. Some of the, with, the, with this RNP data, you can understand whether you can do it now or you can do it at the later stage. To do this, Again, if it is a uh, critical, if the criticality shows it's a medium, then we can go with failure mode uh, effect analysis. Sir, can you move further? Yeah, we have done failure mode effect analysis for blade in, uh, in SAP, uh, in Crave SAP IAM platform. We have the data, you can see the data here. What are the, uh, we have taken all the conditions which are there presently in uh, Blade platform, right? Failures, what are the failures? We have mapped all the failures. Like uh, if you say the Blade failure, abnormal uh, vibration, Blade's uh, uh, surface roughness, Blade damage, damaged Blade, all this, uh, what are the, uh, uh, what are the FMEAs presently exists in the uh, uh, wind turbine area? We mapped into uh, our IAM, uh, IAM SPM so that we can model your system very easily. This shows we can, we can adopt your system without any uh, much time itself because we have already done that, right? So when we do that, what we are doing FMEA, FMEA, when we do that, we are assigning, we are creating one failure mode effective analysis of a wind blade where it is failed, okay? And we are creating with that, we are uh, uh, creating the different uh, causes. What is the cause of that? And uh, that cause will also uh, uh, determine what is the uh, RPN of that. And according to the RPN, we will determine whether it has to be a work order to be created or re retrofit action has to be done to that. All this recommendation we can do. All this, these three lines is the flow of uh, your failure mode effective analysis. And once you have done that, completed, you can see in a dashboard where you can say, this is my failure. This is what our analysis, what is our next step? whether we need to change any task list, whether we need to go for a retrofit order, which is not in SAP now, we can do that. Retrofit orders also we can create from here so that you can retrofit all the, uh, whatever design modification is there means we can do that also. So thanks, can you go further? Yeah, this is uh, RCM, means uh, Reliability Center Maintenance. Sorry, uh, uh, there is a RCM assessment will be done. Actually, this uh, slide is showing uh, only one picture. Uh, when we click on this uh, equipment, it will take you to different functions. That means 
there we if a turbine uh, turbine consists of different uh, uh, equipment all these equipment sometimes we cannot analyze the problem with one equipment we have to analyze with as a system means we have to consider the rotor we have to consider the shaft we have to consider the blade okay all these functions we need to consider all these functional uh, values we can uh, able to map in the system then we start our analysis what is rpn and at the last we will say that this is the rpn and this is the criticality and how to mitigate that criticality uh, uh, again it will be same flow but this mitigation plan will be very different from the fmea fmea will start from failure mode where rcm is full uh, means system analysis not only the failure analysis the whole system will be analyzed if it is a wind farm all wind farm uh, equipments will be taken as a group and analyzed it so there is different ways of analyzing it we have done it successfully in my in our uh, crave system and it's uh, we are ready to demo it to you thanks sir can you go yeah, this is what uh, reliability center maintenance of wind turbine. What I said, these are different, right? Rotor module, uh, uh, drive train module, nozzle structure, wind form system, any any of the links. All this comes as a reliability block. This block you can map directly if you see different functions. Function each function like the wind turbine. Where is capture wind? From the time you capture the wind, what is the uh, after capturing the wind, the which one blade blade? What is the functional failures in blade? We will list it all the functional failures in blade once it is captured. Then fun uh, functional failures and failure modes. What is the mode at which means at that which sensor point it is getting failure? That also we can list it down and it uh, it will give the effect what is the next effect and with this we can give a good uh, I mean analysis on whole system it is we will not only blade we can analyze whole wind form at a time so that you will uh, know which if you are not able to get it from fmea you can 100% you will get the result from the reliability center manager. Yes, you are doing now, but it, by doing in a systematic manner will give you more, uh, with less time, you can achieve more results as well. Sir, can you move further? Yeah, now we came to predictive maintenance. When, uh, when we say predictive maintenance, with the predictive maintenance will be done on the wind form or a wind turbine. Okay, where there are different uh, uh, why uh, there are different ways of doing predictive maintenance. So SAP provides provide two different ways. One is anomaly detection algorithm. Another is failure detection. This anomaly detection algorithm is nothing with nothing but our engineering activity where design uh, means uh, operation. Uh, 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 design value and operation value. You say one is operation value, one is design. When that uh, means that is the maximum value where the our uh, system will fail. That is the anomaly detection algorithm. Uh, in this detection, we have in uh, SAP has given very good uh, already provided some of the algorithms in the system and we are able to add as a crave we are ready to give custom uh, algorithms also for you uh, principal component anal analysis one of the one of the uh, predictive maintenance algorithm given by sap this says for this analysis is for the main principal component like uh, shaft or a blade right when your uh, analysis shaft is the main operational point of operational uh, operational uh, uh, object in your wind turbine, right? So we will analyze the principal component there and give you the correct results when it will fail with this failure. Means when there is a failure, that is design failure. 
then we can adopt that one. And one class uh, support vector dimension is one of the algorithm where uh, you have two measuring points like temperature and hair flow means these are all, you know, we are always connected with IoT, right? IoT have, we can connect with SCADA or directly with the turbine sensors. So we can analyze with very uh, optimal ana analysis we can create for this and give uh, the, with two dimensional measurements without time dimension. This is without time dimension. We are having only two dimension. Any two dimension we can adopt here, like rotation of uh, rotor or vibration. We can take these two dimensions and give a good model where you will come up with uh, predictive uh, modeling of that tool. Uh, there are so many more. Uh, nine, eight, two, six uh, functional is there. A to six uh, models are there in the system and failure detection is one of the where we already know where, whenever there is a failure we have already you may be having the models we can adopt those models here and do it. This is the uh, architecture is uh, IOT uh, from the wind turbine uh, IOT foundation will be there where uh, the all the like SCADA everything will be connected to this IOT and uh, whatever this SAP uh, asset intelligent network from S4 ANA, we will be connecting and we are doing the predictive engineering insight of the modeling in this model. This is uh, about the predictive maintenance. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Shiva. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sir. So, basically, I think in nutshell, we have, uh, so you took an example of, uh, of the twin turbine, but we also have processes and the content already built for several other asset classes like transformer, uh, conveyor belt, then uh, um, uh, aircraft uh, yes, uh, for aviation industry and, and, and several others. So we have a mix of utility infrastructure, and uh, aviation uh, plus utilities. I think those are the ones we have templates already built, which can be leveraged because when SAP standard IAM, that doesn't come with content. You have to build content and that's what we are investing time into. Just real last couple minutes. Uh, this is kind of our end-to-end -end solution. You will have this slide, but basically we can take care. It's a combination of standard SAP offering and Crave offering we basically give you everything from uh, scheduling until the completion of the work, including uh, asset intelligence components. Next slide, this slide talks about all our capabilities from the EAM perspective, right? So standard SAP plant maintenance implementation, customer service, uh, service management, work management for utilities, uh, mobility asset manager, work manager, inventory manager. We talked about intelligent asset uh, management, so uh, AIN, asset strategy and performance, predictive asset insight, and finally, our prepackaged solution. Not only that, we also work with barcode, RFID enablement, and mobile computing hardware. So these are all kind of end-to-end -end solution you can get from us. That includes SAP, software, mobility, uh, middleware, and also the hardware and the mobile computing component. This is just a list of some of our key customers where we have done SAP mobility. Um, that includes utilities and um, utilities, manufacturing, um, regulated, food and beverage, and so forth. This is our methodology, slightly different than what you deal with other organizations. We, we bring in the design thinking process in our our implementation methodology. Finally, this is the list of all of our apps, which are on the App Store, uh, 20 plus apps with sub apps, so that's total 50 plus 20 apps are listed in the EAM, uh, product lifecycle management, supply chain, order to cash, and so forth. With that list of our customers, life sciences, energy, CPG, and manufacturing. With that, we'll open up for questions. 
Thank you, Shrikant and Shiva, for sharing your insight on asset intelligence management and uh, asset manager. Now we would be open for question and answer. I would like to unmute uh, our attendees, and if they have any question, please feel free to ask. And we will be sharing the recording in the deck uh, in a couple of days so that you can have access to both of them. Yeah, while our attendees get to the questions, I mean, this is our these are our um, contact details. Uh, we have Patrick here who leads our US practice uh, from the sales side. But the key is um, the IAM, the whole suite, does not come with the content. That content has to be built. And that's where we bring in the experience and help you to bring that content for uh, uh, for the central foundation, for AIN, uh, integrating with different OEMs. And that needs a little bit of experience and how not only that, but we have a half day complimentary session whereby we can come and, and help you to identify where you are in the maturity curve and what can help you to get to the next level. So that is also available. Sunny, I think we are already over the time. Maybe you yes. can close the class. Yeah, just wonder, Carlos, do you have any question? No, uh, I just thought about spending your schedule. Uh, and for me, that's something, the idea for to continue with the with the company, try to implementation this kind of the, of the software, yeah. Where are you located, Carlos? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where are you located? Which country you are from? Miami, Florida. Miami, okay, okay. Miami, Florida, FXI company. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you for joining. Okay. That's good. Yes. So I don't think we have many questions right now. So we would uh, close the session. Uh, thank you everyone for uh, joining today's session and getting your busy uh, time from your busy schedule. We will close the session. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Shrikan. Thank you, Shiva, for sharing. Thank you, Chumar, everybody. Thank, thank you, you. Chumar, everybody. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Elvis. Thank you all.